Tony, it's a great pleasure to have you with us. However, it is a really pity that you won't be able to go to Beijing and make your trip this time to attend the opening ceremony. How are you coping with your COVID condition now? Hello, everyone. Before I start, uh, may I wish all the Chinese people a very happy Chinese New Year. Ah, thank, thank you, you so for much. <laughs> thank you for the question. Uh, yeah, it's a pity uh, I, I could not make uh, Beijing 2022 this year because uh, I had the COVID uh, just a few days ago. So uh, uh, I'm lucky enough not to have uh, too many symptoms. So I have to remain isolated in my uh, flat in Paris, but uh, I will follow Beijing 2022 from, from here. Right, right. Uh, so good that you're doing well and hopefully you'll get better very, very soon and with a full recovery. Um, had you been able to visit Beijing this time to attend the opening ceremony, what would have been your main agenda, if you will, or schedule in Beijing? You know, Beijing 2022 are the last uh, games before Paris 2024. So for us, for my team, it is very important to have the chance to observe and to continue to learn, to prepare for Paris 2024. We were supposed, I was supposed to come and my team will be there to really look at carefully details about uh, operations in terms of transport, in terms of the Olympic uh, uh, village for the athletes and all the services provided, uh, mm. uh, the competition venues and so on. So we, we still have many things to, uh, to observe and to learn from this uh, unique opportunity. And of course, because there are the games and because I am a former athlete, of course, I was also uh, supposed to come to, uh, to support all the athletes from all around the world and, and maybe especially the French delegation. What might be the athletes in particular that you would like to ask you to watch and observe? Yeah, you know, I remember when I was an athlete, I, I, I didn't like so much to, to put pressure on athletes huh? <laughs> because uh, it's, it's so difficult. So you, you don't want to receive too many pressure. But, uh, but of course, we, we follow carefully some athletes uh, who had a very good preparation. I, I mean, uh, Quentin Fillon Maillet in biathlon was very impressive this, uh, this start of the season. Uh, we have also Alexis Pinturo in uh, alpine uh, skiing or... Uh, Perrine Lafon also in Moguls. Um, so many, many different uh, opportunities uh, that we will, uh, we will follow carefully. So what is your ticketing plan or any uh, enticing or encouraging package, if you will, to uh, encourage more Chinese fans to come for Paris for that occasion? Yeah, that's, that's a very fantastic opportunity. I think the, the, the plan for Paris 2024 is to open the ticketing program by uh, really the beginning of 2023. So in one year, you will have the opportunity and, and that's the difference from the previous models. We will not start only with the French um, area. We will open the ticketing program to everywhere in the world at the mm -hmm. same time. So. Uh, the Chinese fans will have the possibility really to, uh, to, to buy tickets, to purchase tickets uh, in one year now uh, at the beginning of 2023. And, uh, and we will propose different uh, options uh, with packages to discover different sports. Uh, so you, you will have this, uh, this opportunity to, to participate in, in the games. As a multiple time Olympic champion yourself and a former IOC member, what is your interpretation of the Olympic motto, namely faster, higher, stronger, together? Yeah, of course, this motto uh, means a lot for, to me because, uh, you know, uh, during my, my life, uh, I, I dedicated uh, a lot to, uh, to training and to uh, trying every day uh, to improve myself and, and, and work hard to, to, to be the best in the world. So uh, today I, I still try to, to use this motto and, and to drive uh, my team with, with the same uh, uh, level of, uh, of ambition. And, and, and I think this motto is about, uh, yeah, you, you, you need uh, individually to, to do your best, but you need also to engage with people around you. Uh, and this is a collective effort. Uh, I was uh, competing in uh, individual sports in canoeing, Today I'm uh, in the middle of uh, the, the yeah the, the most collective project ever, mm -hmm. uh, and.
and and this is the same uh, daily routine uh, just try to 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 do your best and also to uh, to improve yourself to 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 remain uh, uh, listening to 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 the others uh, because at the end of the day it will be a, a collective success <laughs>